In this video we're going to be going over sustained DPS calculations. I had previously covered burst DPS calculations in another video which will be linked in the description below. However, today we're amping it up a notch. Welcome to Did You Know? So first of all, let's have a quick recap on how to calculate our burst DPS. We have to get our base weapon damage times our all weapon damage plus weapon damage. This will equal our screen base. All of the information that I've just said can be found on your stat screen minus your actual true base. For example, a FAMAS's true base is 44,191. I have linked spreadsheets in the description below where you can find the base damage of your weapon. The reason this is important is the game likes to do this thing called a rounding, where it rounds up or down the numbers, and this can lead to slight variations in your damage output. Then with this new screen base number, we times that by our total weapon damage, our crit damage, our damage to armor, or our damage to health times our damage to targets out of cover, and then times our amplifiers. If you want for non-crit, you just remove crit damage from the equation. Headshot damage is basically the exact same, just rather than doing critical hit damage, we just replace it with headshot damage. Again, if you're not going for headshot, just remove it, add crit, or whatever. And this will give you your damage numbers. For a critical headshot, all you do is the exact same equation again, this time just adding your crit damage and your headshot together. This will form a separate multiplier known as critical headshot. Yay! From here, you will need to find, depending on whether you're going for body or head, you will need to find your crit and your non-crit, as well as your crit chance. You need to convert your crit chance into a decimal adding up to one. So if you've got 60% crit chance, that's 0.6 and 0.4. You've got 50%, 0.5 and 0.5. All you do now is, is with the numbers that you have just found with both your crit and your non-crit, you times your crit by 0.6, if you have 60% crit chance, or and your non-crit by your non-crit chance, 0.4 for example. You then add these two brand new numbers together and this will give you your average damage. You then divide the RPM of the weapon you're using by 60 and then times it by your average damage. This will give you your DP, your burst DPS. This is known as an EPS equation, events per second. It is a factually tried and tested correct equation that we use in a variety of different things up to and including gravity so yeah right on to sustained dps now with sustained dps there are two rules the first rule with one exception is your sustained dps cannot exceed your burst it just can't no matter what you do sustained dps cannot and will not be higher than your burst dps the only exception to this is Bullet King, simply just because sustained DPS takes into account mag size and your reload. Bullet King doesn't really suffer from any of them, so your burst DPS is the exact same as your sustained DPS on Bullet King. That's it. The second rule is do not read into this. I have ran so many missions trying to calculate my average uptime of sustained DPS. Even in the open world, running around like a lunatic, I maybe go into my sustained DPS once for like half a second in maybe four hours of gameplay. So sustained DPS means very little in this game. It is just something that a lot of people like to throw out there. It barely means anything. The only time you'll ever really go into sustained DPS calculations is if you are doing raids and you're having to burn a boss down and you reload that's literally it so unless you're running raids regularly this is mostly immaterial but we're going to go for it anyway so sustained dps is calculated using this equation average damage times your mag size divided by reload plus magazine which is also then divided by your rpm over 60 seconds 
to give you a real world example of this my famas build hits 514,518 on crit times 0.6 194,893 on non-crit times 0.4 so my crit and my non-crit together they make 386,668 times that by 50 divided by 2.1 which is my reload speed plus 50 and then that is further divided by 900 my rpm over 60 seconds and this gives me the lovely sexy total of 3,558,298 now like i said earlier your sustained dps cannot be higher than your burst so if we go back quickly to our average damage so that we have our crit our non-crit times our crit chance and our non-crit chance 900 divided by 60 times our average damage we get 5,800,020 so yeah now if you are too lazy to go through the full calculations what you can do for a simplified version uh courtesy to rousey um huge fan very very sexy man um, go to the range you want to fire into the body or the head however if you're going to do it for the body you need to do all of it for the body or for the head do all of it for the head so put the range at five meters and just put a few rounds into the body or head depending on how you want to go to find your crit as well as your non-crit once you've done this you can then restart the equation so you would take your crit times it by your crit chance, zero point, whatever your crit chance is, six for 60, five for 50, five, five for 55, and then you times your non-crit by the remainder, adding up to one. So if you've got 47 crit chance, your non-crit chance is 53, and then you can just continue from the equation from there. It makes it a little bit simpler, less long-winded, rather than going through all of the base calculations. So, these are the calculations. Burst DPS is RPM divided by 60 times your average damage and sustained DPS is your average damage times your magazine divided by reload plus your magazine size divided by RPM divided by 60. Now, I do know a lot of people like to try and do some weird and wacky ways on trying to calculate their own DPS, etc, etc. I can promise you now they are wrong, not because out of my own arrogance, but this is literally how you test them. These are EPS equations, they're tried and tested, they are used to calculate DPS in a variety of other games, they're used in military code for cyclical rates of weapons, they're used in defining gravitational constructs. They are quite literally the only way in which you are able to accurately calculate the DPS. So it's not that I'm a dick or that I'm arrogant, it's just I'm using the correct bloody formula. Anyway, that is just about going to do it for this video. Have fun, good luck, and don't die. It's bad for the health. <laughs>